This princess suffered from the glass delusion. Princess Alexandra of Bavaria believed that she swallowed a glass piano as a child. This meant that she was so worried about shattering that she moved very carefully around her home, especially around doorways. And what she was experiencing was a variation of the glass delusion which popped up in Europe around the 15th to 16th centuries. Another royal sufferer was French King Charles VI. He believed that he himself was made of glass and needed to wear reinforced clothing, like with iron bars sewn in, in order to protect himself. Other people thought that they had limbs made of glass, that they were trapped in glass bottles or that they were glass flasks themselves. Glass delusions were typically experienced by people suffering from melancholy, which was a form of madness, typically characterized by extreme fearfulness or sadness. But why were these delusions specifically about glass? A delusion is an unshakable, fixed, false belief. It's something that a person sticks to with conviction, even if they're presented with evidence to the contrary. And it isn't a belief commonly shared with people of the same culture or background. But that doesn't mean that delusions can't be shaped by your personal experiences, your culture, the historical moment that you live in. In 17th century Europe, for example, clear glass was a fancy, mystifying, and new material that was becoming more common. It might have been so interesting and awe-inspiring that it inspired these delusions. And you'll often see that new technologies or world events actually influence the content of psychiatric symptoms like delusions. This is something that I noticed in 2020 during the pandemic. Glass might have also been a manifestation of people's fear of personal contact, their desire to withdraw from others as a result of their illness, their melancholy. After all, glass was delicate and could shatter upon contact. The material might have reflected how people were feeling about themselves at the time. Some societies and classes in early modern Europe might have also been particularly anxious about purity and chastity. What can glass symbolize? Well, purity, transparency, fragility. Glass as both material and metaphor could reflect people's fears as well as the broader social pressures of this period, which might explain why glass formed a part of Princess Alexandra's and King Charles's delusional constructs.